Yo, 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 Big Baby JTV, like, comment, sub, like, comment, sub, show love to this channel. See a lot of y'all checking out the channel, getting views, but I need y'all to subscribe, man. I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds. Go ahead. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about this really sad incident. So yesterday on Monday Night Football, the Buffalo Bills were playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Huge, huge game with huge playoff implications. Really, really important. And around the, you know, I think around the, the end of the first quarter or second quarter around then, uh, one of the players, DeMar Hamlin, uh, a safety. So he's a defensive back, meaning he usually covers receivers. He went in for a tackle on a uh, player called T. Higgins, who is a receiver. And right after that tackle, uh, Hamlin stood up and then collapsed right after. You know what I mean? It looked really, really bad. I'm not going to display it on this video. You can probably search it up online, but it's a disgusting looking video. You know what I mean? And at that point, the game will stop because they were curious what was going on. It looked like the man had completely passed out. Later on, come to find out, the man had a heart attack at 24 years old. 24 years old, this man had a heart attack sad tragic they had to do cpr on the field he was kind of responsive so there was a pulse you know and then quickly he was taken an ambulance came and he was taken to the hospital uh, and now currently as i'm doing this video he's in critical condition they the nfl stopped the game entirely uh postponed and meaning they'll probably play this game either today or tomorrow or something of the sort but this is a life or death situation, man. You know what I mean? And there's been moments in the NFL where things like this happen. For example, to a lesser degree, by the way, this is the most shocking incident. Uh, you know, to a lesser degree, uh, a few months ago, uh, you know, Tua Tonga Valoa, who had a concussion the week prior, literally got hit. And, you know, had almost like an epileptic type of shock. His fingers were twisting crazy. You know, passed out a little bit on the field and had to be carted off. You know what I mean? A few years later, Ryan Shazier, right? He went for a tackle and fell down and was paralyzed from the leg down for a few years. You know what I mean? Obviously, his career was over. And, uh, you know, even, uh, you know, with, with uh, Antonio Brown, you know, we like to make jokes about him. But A.B., he himself was knocked out in the game by Vontez Perfect, right? Luckily, he was able to recover and be ready to play the next game, right? But this situation was a lot more scary because, you know, at a certain point, people were speculating if this man had died, right, of a heart attack. Now, at 24 years old, being a professional athlete, this is extremely rare, you know what I mean? This is almost unheard of ever for a man of this youth to have a heart attack. By the way, sub to the channel. You know what I mean? I'll keep y'all updated with videos. We keep this man in our prayers, you know? So Skip Bayless wrote a really insensitive tweet, right? Talking about the just the facts of the issue, that this is a super, super important game, right? And just, just it, it didn't have enough grace and understanding to be you know broadcasted on twitter at that time now do i get what skip was trying to say yes but let's be honest man skip is a controversial person man right that's why he's getting paid millions and millions of dollars to be on fox sports when he was one of the reasons that fox sports is even really a thing now right because of undisputed right he's getting paid millions to be controversial i don't have a problem with his tweet was it incredibly insensitive yes but you have to understand that's the that's the job calling, man. If Skip Bayless was not controversial, if Skip Bayless was super politically correct, right? What do you think would happen to his show? No one would watch his show. There's a ton of guys within sports media who are neutral and not not uh, not controversial at all. Bomani Jones, who watches his show? Nobody, right? So I'm not saying that you have to buck up and go wild sometimes, but I understand why Skip Bayless said what he said, right? 
is it are we living in one of the most sensitive generations of all time yes i agree but at the same time we have to understand that unfortunately football is a very very dangerous sport right i looked up the history of the nfl right and and i i learned about um Derek stingley and jack tatum so jack tatum was a safety for the uh oakland raiders in the 1970s right and Derek stingley was a receiver for the new england patriots so there was a slant route that uh, Derek Stingley went to, to, to execute. And uh, Jack Tatum hit him really, really hard. Jack Tatum was known for his hard hits. Hit the man so hard that Jack Tatum, sorry, Derek Stingley became a quadriplegic, right? This is football, man. I'm sorry. This is a contact sport. See, in, in boxing, which is the most contact sport, people have died in the ring, You know what I mean? And, and, you know, unfortunately, you know, or maybe fortunately, grown men make a decision and say, hey, I'm going to sign up for this and I'm going to play this game. I'm going to risk my life to play a very, very dangerous game. Right. And I salute these men, these warriors who are able to do these, these gladiators. Right. But I'm not mad at Skip Bayless for doing his job. Maybe he was a, he, not even maybe, he wasn't sensitive with how he expressed himself. But that's part of his job. I'm not going to, you know, dog him out for that. No. No, I'm not. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Big Baby JTV, like, comment, sub, man. I appreciate all the views. Appreciate everybody who supports, man. Let's put our prayers up for uh, Damar Hamlin, man. I'm out, bro.